Hi, today I'm reviewing the Dr. Jart Sika Pair Tiger Grass Nightly Repair Mask. And really quick, I just want to say, I purchased all these products with my own money. So you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, go to the Amazon link below before you make your purchases. So this is the full size of the product, which sells for, I believe it is $48. And it's not really a jar. It's, um, let me see if I can get this out for you. It's different foils of a mask. So you can definitely see. That's the nice thing is that it is protects the product from um, light and air. So you can definitely see the different foils in there. Which is a nice way to package it, actually. I, I really like that. And the even better thing is that this was the mask I used last night. And um, there's still a lot of product left. It's pretty thick. And there's definitely a decent amount of product in each foil. So let me give you... It's kind of a greenish tint to it. And this, I definitely had more than enough left over. But it is very thick. And the nice thing is, is that if you apply this after all of your retinols and serums and any other cream, if you apply this on top, it kind of seals all those in. And it lets those absorb into your skin. So that's definitely a very nice factor with it. You can apply your retinol, your uh, any serums, any vitamin C, um, any glycolic acid or anything else that you use and then just apply this on top of it to kind of seal those in. Now um, definitely feels nice on your skin but I have a few issues with it. Um, my first issue with it is the grapefruit peel oil that they put in there. Um, this uh, product is marketed as um, nightly repair mask repair sensitive skin while you sleep but uh, if you're going to repair sensitive skin, why would you put in a skin sensitizer? That's kind of strange to me because um, grapefruit is very acidic to your skin. It can burn a little bit. Um, so I don't get why they put that in there, especially if they're marketing it to people with sensitive skin. That that annoys me and it's, and it's up there in the ingredient list. It's not near the very bottom. And then my other issue is that they also put in lavender oil, which is um, debated a much about if it's good for skin or bad for skin. It definitely has good aspects to it, but it can also be a skin sensitizer, especially when it combines with oxygen in the air, so it can damage the skin. So if you're applying this um, as something to repair your skin, you're also exposing it to some sensitizers. I wish they had left out those two ingredients because otherwise I would be all hats and horns about this product, but um, they did not leave those out. They included those and they included those higher up in the list. Um, and I used this the last few nights and my skin feels nice and it definitely helps lock in and seal those other ingredients. And maybe if you're putting it on top of several other serums and lotions and treatments that uh, those of those iffy ingredients kind of get diluted or don't get absorbed as much. But the other problem is when your skin is being irritated from products like that, you're not going to know. Your skin isn't going to probably won't be visibly itchy or, you know, immediately bother you, but it can damage your skin over time and you might not even know what's happening. So I'm torn on this product. I love the packaging. They they do have great ingredients in here in addition to those iffy ones. Um, man, I just, I wish they would have left those out, but they didn't. So for me, unfortunately, I'm not going to give this any product any thumbs up. And I'm not going to give it any thumbs down. Um, if they had chosen to leave out those ingredients, I'd definitely be giving it two thumbs up. But because of that, I can't um, highly recommend it. But uh, like I said, I've used it and it definitely feels nice and I've been reading the reviews online and they're all pretty good. But those couple ingredients, you don't really know if they're damaging your skin or not um, and you probably never will. Um, you know, it's not like you're going to apply it and you're immediately going to break out or get flaky skin or anything, but definitely something to be aware of. So 
I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check this out yet. Um, what are your thoughts on it? Did you like it, love it, hate it? Um, and then uh, what do you use before you go to sleep? Do you use all your treatments, different serums, and then kind of a thick cream overwards? Or some people I know that have normal or oily skin, they can just wash and go straight to bed. I can't if I don't cover it in like 100 layers of cream, I'll wake up all dry and flaky. Um, especially in the Minnesota winter. So um, I love hearing from you guys. You always have good tips. Uh, I always learn something new every day. So um, leave a comment. And then also, if you're not already subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I come out with at least one new review every day. Thank you, guys.